Minh Thúy xin kính chào quý vị hôm nay thứ Sáu, 9 tháng 8, 2024. Đến với VATV hôm nay gồm có phỏng vấn đặc biệt và nhạc lá bồ đề. Kính thưa quý vị, trong thời gian công tác ở Việt Nam, ông Frank Scotton đã được biệt phái công tác trong nhiều cơ quan khác nhau. Khi thì hoạt động với lực lượng đặc biệt, khi thì hoạt động với các nhân viên quân sự ở các ấp. Một trong những công tác biệt phái đặc biệt nhất của ông là làm việc với giám đốc William Kobe của CIA. Trong công tác đặc biệt này, ông được chỉ định thâu thập tin tức về các nhân viên Việt Nam. Việc chỉ định này vô tình khiến cho ông có cái nhìn chuyển hướng từ khung cảnh tác chiến sang tình trạng nhân sự. Việc thâu thập tin tức bắt đầu bằng việc kiểm chứng những tin đồn về việc tham nhũng. Lúc đầu, việc thâu thập tin tức chỉ là để tìm hiểu, nhưng về sau, khi tin tức thâu thập ngày càng nhiều, ông Frank Scotton và văn phòng CIA của giám đốc William Kobe bị buộc phải tìm cách đối phó với những thực tế thâu thập những dữ kiện đó. Công tác này dần dần cuốn hút Frank Scotton vào sâu trong nguồn máy hành chánh lẫn nguồn máy quân sự của Việt Nam. Ông nhận thấy ông không phải là người thích hoặc bị thu hút hoặc muốn giải quyết những vấn đề nan giải này. Nhưng vì đang nắm giữ gần như tất cả những tin đồn ở tất cả mọi nơi đang cần kiểm chứng, ông không thể rút lui. Xin mời quý vị cùng theo dõi công tác biệt phái của Frank Scotton qua những tiếp xúc của ông với giám đốc CIA William Kobe và tình trạng nan giải của vấn đề này càng bước sâu hơn vào những vấn đề ông không muốn giải quyết qua phần 11 phỏng vấn đặc biệt do Phan Lê Dũng, Võ Thành Nhân và Minh Thủy thực hiện. Okay Frank, I think the uh, we were touching on the different branches of uh, different organizations within the government that couldn't share information with one another. And uh, we think about the time that you were detailed with the CIA and you were setting up this so-called database for all of the officials in Vietnam about corruption. Uh, tell us about the project. And well, uh, Bill Colby wanted me to do it with uh, an emphasis on uh, allegations of corruption involving um, people that had some responsibility for uh, rural development funding, rural development uh, funds. And so in the first instance, I was receiving, uh, while I was in his office, information from uh, American advisors. Uh, mostly, it seemed uh, civilians who were, civilian advisors who were sensitive to this kind of thing. And a lot of it had to do with uh, diversion of uh, uh, building supplies, for instance, uh, rebar, uh, concrete mix. And uh, I, I would uh, uh, faithfully document uh, the information and uh, file it. The files were maintained in uh, MACV at the time. Um, there, were, there were two difficulties I felt. Uh, with the approach. Uh, given that it was better to have some information um, of this nature compared to no information, uh, all right. But then as I, as I discussed uh, the expansion of the files uh, and file cabinets with uh, uh, Bill Colby, I, I asked him, what were we going to do with this information? Um, I understood that the information with respect to a district chief, let's say, who was uh, diverting uh, uh, materials uh, for his own benefit, uh, that that would be taken up uh, with the prime minister's office and you you might well have, and in some instances, you did have a transfer of a district chief replacement. Um, 
in other more serious cases involving, I felt more serious cases, involving uh, higher ranking government officials, including even, uh, let's say, a cabinet minister, um, what was going to be done with that information? Um, and uh, since to the extent possible, given other needs for my time and uh, tasking, to the extent that I had a, attempted to, to verify or grade the reliability of that information, uh, what, was, what was going to be done with respect to a province chief or a corps commander or someone, let's say, who worked on the Central Pacification Committee uh, out of the Prime Minister's office, or even the Prime Minister even, himself. Let's say someone within the Prime Minister's family. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, dis despite our uh, our uh, working together for some time, and I th and I think. Uh, considerable mutual respect I never I never had a satisfactory answer to that uh, in practice it seemed to be that uh, documentable provable um, allegation of corruption at a low level uh, would be managed by uh, change removal removal from office uh, with respect to what might transpire at a higher level, it was ignorable, and in practice was, was ignored. How do you actually go about it? How do you document? What do you have in the beginning before you coming into this uh, corruption uh, file? Is there anything there before? Is it your very initial thing that um, do you have zero things? I didn't find anything when I, when I was asked to start and what year was that? Uh, that was in 19, uh, let me see what that would have been. That would have been in 1970. 70, okay. Yeah, early 1970. Uh, early enough, because Americans just came in 68, you only had two years. And oh, you no, we, we were, we, well. Um, I'm talking about Americanization of the war, I'm not talking about oh, the yeah, whole effort. The, yeah, the Americanization and the establishment of, uh, of uh, chords. So two years, and yeah, yeah. How, 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 how did you go initially about collecting this information? Who, who are the people working for you? Well, initially, because I, I, sorry to tell you, I had other interests and other, other uh, duties too. Um, I, I didn't have the interest in it that maybe perhaps someone might say I should have or I could have had. Um, but right from the beginning, I, th I thought there was going to be a contradiction in terms of um, what I would collect and what might be done about it. You know, secondly, I was certainly going, not going to be the person who was going to uh, manage the consequences. You know, I was not going to be the person who would go to the Prime Minister's office. Um, and uh, in the end, that was going to have to be uh, uh, Bill Colby who would do it. Uh, as far as I know, the information that um, that I arranged in those files was not shared with the embassy either. I I don't know that it may it may have been uh, done so by someone else. But in 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 terms of uh, the expansion of those files, which had begun uh, begun by to some degree by my predecessor, Everett Baumgartner, who had worked with Colby. Um, it, it, was, it was at that point all low-level uh, stuff involving, I would say, misappropriation of, uh, of local resources. Um, during the time that I handled it, the, the, the uh, quantity quality and value of, of the problem 
uh, expanded. And there were, uh, there were some allegations with respect to smuggling and other, other uh, instances, but um, the, the files expanded, but they, they remained stagnant, as far as I can tell, in files. And there was one, there was one point where um, it, it seemed strange to me that um, we would be going uh, to the Prime Minister's office to make a complaint about a district chief in Kaysak, mm. let's say, mm -hmm. the Mekong Delta, uh, who had misappropriated uh, some uh, refugee supplies and we were doing so in the presence of a person on whom we had uh, some documentation. Mời quý vị đón xem phần 12, phỏng vấn ông Frank Scotton, nhân viên cao cấp Sở Ngoại vụ Hoa Kỳ, sẽ được phát hình vào tối thứ Sáu ngày 16 tháng 8, 2024. Kính thưa quý vị, chương trình VATV đến đây xin tạm ngưng. Chúng tôi sẽ tiếp tục phần 2 sau phần thông báo và quảng cáo.